A pitch deck is a document or presentation that introduces the tone and story of your film to people in a way that helps them understand your vision. People can't read your mind, so a pitch deck is an efficient way to get your point across and you get to use visuals, usually photos or still frames from movies that communicate the mood you are going for. When making a pitch deck or a mood board or a lookbook, they're all kind of similar but different, you want to have good, high quality images and they can be kind of hard to come by. Google image search is not always going to be the best option while making a pitch deck. Now I spend a dumb amount of time procrastinating on actual creative endeavors by scouring the internet for pitch deck images for many hours. But it's proven useful. I now have accumulated a nice sized library of still frames and images I can reference at any time while making a pitch deck. And I feel like I have found pretty much every way there is to find these high quality images. So here it is, how to get images for your pitch deck. I'm gonna start with the easiest options and work my way down to the trickier ones. So option number one is, you guessed it, Google image search. It's simple, it's easy, you type what you want in the search bar and you see if it comes up. It probably won't, but maybe this time it will. The key to Google image searching stuff is to click tools, size, and large. Now it should all be sorted out by the largest and highest quality images. These will probably look the best in your pitch deck. Another great option I found to get high quality images for your pitch deck is called Unsplash. Unsplash is an awesome website where every photo is high quality, royalty free, and completely free to use in any project. Most of the photos lean towards like a hip Instagram photography style, but there's actually a lot of cinematic feeling images too. Just search, scroll, select, and download. It's easy. And there's other options other than Unsplash that do the same sort of thing. Um, there's one called Pixabay and another Pexels and probably a few others that I don't even know about, but they're out there. So go find them, check them out. It's a great resource for images. The next option barely deserves its own section in my opinion, but I have used it in the past, so I'll say it here. Paid stock photo sites. In my experience, paid stock photo sites are super hit or miss when it comes to cinematic images, but depending on the style of your film and what you're trying to convey with your pitch deck, I think certain people would be able to get a lot of mileage out of some of these sites. The downside is obviously that none of the images are free. So go check out these sites. Uh, I doubt you're gonna find what you're looking for, but who knows, if you need like a, a guy wearing a suit with a white background looking at money angrily um, for your pitch deck, you're probably gonna find it, so. Uh, but there's other stuff too. That's At this point, that cheesy paid stock photography style is kinda outdated and kind of just like a, a stereotype. There's a lot of good stuff out there, but there's also a lot of good stuff you can find for free. So, you know, do what you will with that information. And another option is filmgrab.com. Filmgrab is a website I've used a ton of times. It's essentially a site with thousands and thousands of already saved still frames from movies. Filmgrab's library comprises of over 2,500 separate films and 160,000 images, all hand-picked, representing the most comprehensive library of film shots on the internet. It's amazing. If it's an iconic movie, there's a good chance they have it. If not, I usually sort by genre, I go to horror, and I just browse around until I find an image that fits the tone that I'm going for and would work in my particular pitch deck. It can also be a great way to find inspiration. The only downsides are that they might not have the film that you're looking for, and the size of the images are just a little on the small size in my opinion, but they're still large enough and sharp enough to get by for most situations. Shot Deck is another option that is very similar to Film Grab. From what I can tell, it is essentially the same thing, but you gotta pay for it. Yeah, I take, I take that back. Um, I was doing more research and Shot Deck is definitely different than Film Grab. It's got a lot more features. I get into that a little bit, but it's not the same thing. Pretty much, Shot Deck is like the the paid pro version of Film Grab. Film Grab's like no feature, uh, free version. And uh, Shot Deck is definitely better. So um, I'll get back into the video, but maybe I'll do a whole video about Shot Deck, who knows. And I think the quality of the images are a little bit better. I did have access to Shot Deck back before the paywall went up, and it was pretty great. Lots of movies, lots and lots of stills from each movie. And the best thing that Shot Deck has that Film Grab did not have is a very nice search function. 
as in you type forest night and it's gonna spit out every image in its database that is similar to a night forest scene. This makes it so you don't have to blindly sift through movies hoping to find something specific you need. If you already have some specific imagery in mind, hopefully you'll be able to find it here. And the one downside is obviously that it is behind a paywall. Shot Deck is a subscription style service that you get to have access to all these images. Um, so there you go, that's another great option. The last option and probably the option that I've used the most is screenshots. I've screenshot a ton in the past for different pitch deck projects I've been working on. I've grabbed screenshots from YouTube videos. I've grabbed screenshots from Netflix and other streaming services. I've grabbed screenshots from my own DVD and Blu-ray collection. With screenshotting, anything goes, and with some well-timed pauses, you can usually find some decently sharp stills to grab and use in your pitch deck. That's it. These are all of the techniques I've used in the past to find solid, high-quality images for my pitch decks. If you have some secret hidden technique that I didn't mention, please feel free to tell me all about it in the comments. I read all the comments and I try to respond to everyone. And it's usually not that difficult. There's, just, you know, there's usually not that many comments. So chances are, if you leave a comment, I will read it and reply. Also, let me know if you'd be interested in a more detailed look at how to create a decent pitch deck. I have some thoughts on the subject. Until then, hit subscribe and go watch one of my other videos because the algorithm likes that. So that's a great way to support me. If you're into that, go watch one of my other videos. Other than that, thanks for watching.